Hi, hello, vanakkam and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see how to integrate GitLab with the VS Code and we are going to run a K6 load test using GitLab. So if you are someone who is looking for this video, please do give a like and don't forget to subscribe to our Little Sla YouTube channel and uh, if you have any questions or comments please do comment in the comment section and we'll discuss that very soon and yeah like i told you uh, we are having our jmeter trainings i mean the one that you are asking so that's coming very soon and it's mostly we can expect it from the beginning of february so coming back to this video so firstly uh, i'm going to uh, integrate the gitlab with my Visual Studio Code and the second part is I'm going to set up the K6 scripting or the K6 load test using uh, GitLab. So firstly, let's connect uh, the GitLab to my VS Code, the Visual Studio Code. So as part of that, the very first step is uh, let's try to integrate. Let's try to let me try to create a new branch. So I'm going to create a new branch and that's going to be um, K6 underscore testing underscore little sla and in fact yeah i just want to tell you um i have in fact created a video on how to integrate gitlab with jmeter and i have even uh, executed a load test using jmeter as well so in case if you haven't watched it and if you want to watch that video please do check it in the link i'll share the link as well and coming back to this part so i'm going to create a new branch from the master and that's going to be k6 testing little sla and then i'm going to create the branch so once I create the branch, I'm going to click on this code and get the clone with HTTPS, the link, and then coming back to the VS code. And I'm going to clone this GitHub repo, sorry, GitLab repo, sorry. And then I'm going to create a folder, a separate folder under the GitLab. And yep, uh, let me select this as a repository location. So now it will uh, clone the GitHub repo and yep, uh, I want to clone it. Yes, click on open. And now it has taken me to the GitLab folder, the GitLab location. And at the bottom, by default, you will always get the master branch, but all the changes has to be in our local branch. That is the branch that we created as the K6 testing little star. So I'm going to open that remote branch. And now, yes, you can see very well that I have my uh, K6 a little slab branch so the next thing is i'm going to create a folder uh, the folder is for uh, bringing the uh, load test file so i'm having a file here the constant views example this is a j6 uh, sorry a js file so this is the javascript file so this is a very simple file all we are going to see today is about how to integrate it so i'm just having a very simple k6 file you can have any of your k6 file with any of your api scripting so coming back to this part, I'm uh, running. I'm going to run this test with a uh, 10 users, and the duration is going to be like for 30 seconds, and it's going to run a very basic uh, HTTP GET request. So the next part is we are going to push this change to the GitLab repo, and for that, click on the source control, and let me first add this. Uh, so even I can I can do this via this part R. I can even use terminal, but this is going to be very easy and this is more user friendly as well. So I'm going to click on stage changes and updating the K6 JS code. That's going to be our first commit. So I'm going to click on commit and push and this will commit my changes and it will push my changes to the GitLab repo. So now this will ask me for a prompt that whether shall I move this to the GitLab so now i think we are ready we are good to go and let me go back to the k6 testing and let me refresh this one to check whether my changes has come yep so here you can see my load test file and then the constant we use example.js and we can all see all this in the repository so the next step is we're going to create the pipeline and for that go to the build and then the pipeline editor click on configure pipeline and this will always come up with the default pipeline I'm not going to make any changes to the build or okay I'm I'll, let me just make this change here so we are going to build the pipeline step by step 
So the first step of it is the stages. So stages is where we will be, uh, give all the stages. For example, like I start with the build and then the next one is deploy. And then the third one is where I'm going to run the load test in the local in my local using the GitLab. And then the next part is the image. So I'm going to use the image, which is the Ubuntu latest for running the test. And then the, so here now I'm in the build stage. So this is the very, very first stage where we're going to do the building part. So this will be actually taken care of by your development team, but I'm all I'm just going to fill this part so that you don't miss it or you don't find that you are somewhere uh, outside the syllabus. So that's the reason I'm giving. I'm just, this is going to be just a very simple step where I'm going to build my application in Ubuntu container. And once it is done, we will move to the next step, which is the deploy. So under the deploy, I'm going to do my deployment. So that's going to be deploy and the script again. And it's going to be echo and deploying my application in Ubuntu. Yes, that's what we do now. And then the next part, which is the, sorry, which is the load test, right? So this is where we are going to implement our load test, the K6 load testing. So okay, load test local, that what, that's what you can see here, the load test local part here. And what are we going to do? So I'm going to use the image, which is going to be load impact slash K6. So this will actually build the K6 into this mission or into this uh, build pipeline. And then the entry point is going to be double quotes and now the stage, right? So we have to run the stage of testing. So load test local is the stage and then the script. So what script are we going to use for this testing? So it's going to be echo. Firstly, let's execute the uh, K6 in local mission. So local mission, I mean, it is the GitLab location and then the command. So this is the command which we normally use to run the test, right? So if you remember, we normally use the command which is K6 run dot slash. So I'm using the location under the load test. So I'm going to use the same thing here. So it's going to be load test slash let me rename to get the file name yep and this is the file name which i'm going to use for testing and yep we are done with the pipeline build so all i did is i have i mean like basically this is the one that we are concerned about the load test local but apart from that few things which we want to consider here is let me just remove all the other one that one the one which we want to be uh, taken, which is, has to be taken care of is like, you have to make sure that we are part of the build pipeline. Say for example, your building should happen. Your application has to be built. Your application has to be deployed. And only after that, we can run our test in case, or if you can, if in case you, if you want to run your test alone, you don't want your test to be integrated with build and deployment, but it has to happen after your build and deployment pipeline. Yes, we can even do that separately. You can just remove these steps and you can just start only your load testing, your load testing of your K6. But in this scenario, yes, we are going to run our test as part of the CI/CD catalog. So uh, what we did is we have built, we have added these stages, the build stage, the deploy stage, and after the build and deployment is completed, we are going to do our testing, right? So now I'm going to save, I'm going to commit this change. And once I commit this change, automatically the pipeline syntax is correct and the pipeline status is getting checked. And once if it, yeah, so it, is, it has completed, successfully and now the pipeline has started to run and here you can see the build is running successfully and even you can see the jobs here so uh, it's created and it started running the deploy is running now so the build has been successfully passed the deploy step is running now so even you can watch it here so the deploy step is running fine the previous one which is the build has already successfully completed and now the deploy has also successfully completed and now let's move on to the load test local so this is which is running now so click on the load test local 
where you can see so and it shows like right so the load impact image so this is the docker container docker image that we wanted to use for running the k6 uh, test so this has been started now so now we are using the load impact k6 image for running this test so that has started successfully now and it is uh, running so after a few uh, seconds it will start run and it will show us the result like what is happening uh, yeah so here the job has been success successfully completed and yeah, the k6 test has been completed with all the 10 user load and the amount of duration that we gave so everything is completed now so we have got the result so this is how we can uh, run the test and get the results so in our next video we'll see in an advanced way where we can um, get the results and we can make uh, pipeline schedules as well so i believe this video will be very useful to you so if you really like this video if you really love this video and if you find it very useful for you please do um, give a thumbs up give a like button press the like button and share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our little slide youtube channel and uh, see you all in our next video until then bye bye from us and your favorite little slide youtube channel take care and bye bye